everybody, it's Siobhan. How you doing? Jaden's coming. Hurry up. Come sit down over here. Say hi. Say hi. Got stuff all over your face. Ma. That's mommy's hair headband. Okay, so I wanted to do a really quick video for you just to show you some of the back to school, um, preschool thing I'm trying to do for my son. Um, so I did pick up these flashcards from the Dollar Tree. They're the little people flashcards. Um, so I bought the trifold um, board at the Dollar Tree. On the left side, I put months of the year, and it has all of them listed. Oh, then, um, and I did get these posters from the Dollar Tree a while ago, and it had I had just cut it all up. It had the months of the year, and then it had days of the week. So then on the right hand side, that flap, it says days of the week and they're listed. And then um, I will flip it around so you guys can see. Then it has like the colors listed. There are little circles with the name written in it. So for our circle time, I want to do the go over the months of the year, days of the week. He's not saying that stuff, but at least if I keep doing it and repeating it, there's the months of the year song, the days of the week, there are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then um, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, those are the months of the year. So I want to do those with him because he really does like music and songs and all that stuff. So we'll move the stuff out of the way. <laughs> He's trying to move his tent and there's things in his way. you got to take the thing out that's inside the tent and then pull it. So that's what I want to do. And then I have a calendar in the center. And we're going to go over what month it is, what day of the week it is, what number it is. So he's going to do learn his letters and his numbers. So I figure what I'm going to do on the bottom, I want to do a letter a week. And I also want to do a number. And I also want to just do his shapes. He can pretty much point to you point to the ones that are like if you say where's the circle where's the square like he can probably do those um so i just it's not really learning it's kind of just repetitive just so that he gets it in his head so what i did at the bottom is you can get these at walmart and they were 97 cents and two come in a pack they are the command hooks oops sorry they're the small little ones here. And what I wanted to do on the bottom, because I have some space, is to hang um, like this. I took and laminated these cards. Here's the front pictures of them. But I wanted to laminate them and then just take that and hang it off of there. Just so that we can like see what letter we're doing for the week. So you guys can get those at Walmart. Really good, good price. So I have three hooks on the bottom. So what I did is I split the alphabet up. I did half and half just because it's too thick and too heavy. I didn't want it to like bust and have all of them on. There's no need to. So um, on this ring we have A through M. So what I'm going to do is hang it off. And like our first week of doing this, we're going to learn all about the letter A. He knows every letter sound. So that's awesome. It's just getting him to say the letters. Um... Like, I'll say A, B, C, D, and he'll, he'll go, ah, b. So, um, so I'm going to do this. This is going to hang off. Oops, somebody's eating a banana. Yummy. Then our next thing is going to be the numbers. I found these. I don't even remember on, I, you can Google preschool themes and circle times and you can get a whole bunch of stuff so I did print these off and put them on pretty paper just so they'd stand out um, and so we're going to do a letter a number a week also and then this is same thing these are just the shapes so I cut them out small just so that it would fit on our board and we're just going to review them 
you know, it's not, I'm not going to spend too much time on the shapes because he, like I said, knows what those are. So that is what the board is going to consist of. Um, and I'm in the process of doing his planning here. As you may see, I did a haul from the Dollar Tree and I did pick up the student monthly planner. So this is going to be his preschool. I'm pretty much going to, what I want to do on here is really just like write in what theme I kind of want to do um, and any notes that I may have just so that I can plan it around holidays and stuff so I know like what exactly I want to do. Like, So that's going to have his stuff in there. So I went on and I looked at a whole bunch of different curriculums and lesson planning. And I mean, I used to be a preschool teacher, so I remember how I used to do it. But that was more involved because we had different stations, different play areas in the room. We did a whole bunch of different things. So I kind of made my own up. Um, I just did it in Word. It was really easy. So I will show you what I did. And if anybody's interested, you can um, email me and I can send you the, link, the, um, the file that I made if you are interested. So all I did on the top was I put the week of, and then I'm going to just write in what week it is, whatever the theme is for the week, and what letter of the week we're doing, and then the number that we're learning. So then if you move down, I did the columns. I did Monday through Friday, and then I did circle time, which I really don't have to write too much. I think what I'm going to put in here is um, any, like, finger plays that I have or like poems um, or a song that I want to do with him like we're gonna do fall and and apples and one of the things we used to do um, when I taught was we did <clears throat> like this you make a tree and it said way up high in the apple tree two little apples smiled at me I shook that tree as hard as I could and down came the apples and boy were they good so something like that I just put apple tree finger play or whatever so that's what we're gonna do for circle time I can also write down like what we're gonna discuss for the calendar circle time normally is just going over the calendar and what day of the week it is and um, the weather you can do um, so then the next column I have is art projects. Let me just put it up a little closer for you guys to see. And so in those columns, I'm just going to write down whatever project I want to do with him. Um, like for apples, for instance, we will cut an apple in half and he can put dip it in paint and then do some apple stamping on paper. Or he can do... Um, cut out an apple or you know get a drawing of an apple outline and then he can glue um, red green or yellow tissue paper to it and make an apple that way so just listing pretty much just going to list what art projects we want to do then the next column I have is story time so this is going to be whatever books I have now like I said I was a preschool teacher so I have saved every every book that I had bought um, that I collected over the years so I can just go through and check and see what books that I have that'll go with our theme and I can write them down and also put them aside so that I have them accessible um, the next thing on our list is a sensory activity so I did do a, um, a video on go throw that in the garbage good job can you go get your water? Um, I did a sensory bin, which is with rice and beans. Um, you can get all of the stuff at the Dollar Tree. You can get the plastic bin there. You can get the rice there. You can get beans. Different, they had black beans. They had brown beans. So you can get all different kinds of stuff at the Dollar Tree to make them. And it's really inexpensive. Um, I also dyed my rice so you can make different colored rice you can just put white rice in there um, it is fun especially when you have a theme that you want to do for the sensory bin so um, depending on what theme we are if we're doing fall good job he's getting into everything here have a drink
Good job. So let's say, for example, fall. You can put the. Mama, um, mama. That's a. What is that? Ba. Ba. Na. 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 Ba. Banana. So um, you can take the leaves, those uh, leaves that you can get at the Dollar Tree, and you can put those in the bin. You can put. Um, oh, what else can you put? Little pumpkins, you can put the fake apples that you can get at the Dollar Tree. Even in the flower, the floral section, you know, some of the um, floral arrangements that they have have like little pumpkins and stuff on there. So you can take that stuff and put it into the bin. So incorporate it with whatever theme you have. So for the fall, I might put the leaves in there and some pumpkins and things that have to do with that. Um, and then the next section is manipulatives, and this is, it's kind of new for me to do with him, but I did buy, um, those little counting bears, the red, the red, yellow, green, and blue, and they're like this big, and, um, so those are manipulatives, so you can use them to, to count with, you can use them to sort, so um, it says like you can sort them by color, you can sort them by size. So if I can find something that will go with the theme, like apples, I could print off a couple of different size apples and different color apples, or I can print one and color them in. Um, we can go throw that out. Thank you. So, um, yeah, we're going to do something like that. Or I might take and make a big green leaf and a red leaf and say, oh, go put two bears over in the green leaf. So that's pretty much what that is going to be. It may be something I do every every day. It might just be once a week. Um, and then my last column here is going to be field trip slash gross motor activity. So, um depending on what our themes are and weather <laughs> we will plan some sort of a trip so hey um for example i'll do he loves farm animals so that will be one of our themes also so we'll do the farm learn all about the farm what the farmer does what animals are on the farm what they um what the animals eat, what they do on the farm. So that would be, mama, mama, mama. this isn't going to yes. always be an everyday yes. thing. Yes. yes. That's a moo cow. Yes. What does the chicken say? Oh, oh, oh. Buck, buck, buck. What does the piggy say? <laughs> Show them. You do it. What does the horsey say? <laughs> Uh, what else? What else is on the farm? Uh, uh -huh. Go get your moo cow. Go get your moo cow. Hurry, hurry. So, a field trip would be going to the farm, feeding the animals, um, gross motor, pretty much like, um, I don't know, maybe for like, like I've been talking about apples a lot in fall, is we can make leaves and stuff and tell him he has to jump here and jump to this this leaf and um, trying to incorporate stuff like that. It's not probably not going to be an everyday thing, just like the manipulatives. Maybe it'll be opposite. Um, but I just thought, at least for now, to, for me to get some sort of an idea, I want to have it planned out so that I don't have to like do anything at the last minute. I want it all like done. So, um, he's going to bring his barn and probably his animals so you can see. But, um, so yeah, if you guys are interested in that, it's pretty much easy, a simple thing. Oh, and on the bottom of it, I also wrote, like, our week's goals. So if I have any idea of, like, what I want to have happen in the week. And then I thought this would be great to just save, you know, just so that I know what I did. And at the end of the week cross off the stuff or check mark the things that we did do and then if I didn't do something highlight it so that the next time we do it 
we could maybe go back and do some different things. So, um, so that's my lesson plan that I came up with. I figured that would be the easiest thing for me to do. So once that's all planned out, it's going to go into this book, and I'm going to write in for the week, you know, what I want to do. And then, what else? So I did go on, this is called preschoolalphabet.blogspot.com, and it's an older, I think it was, it's like 2015, maybe it was 2014, I'm not quite sure of the year that when I went on here but anyways I had printed this out so every month they have like a calendar and they do a letter a day I think for him it might be too much um oh no they don't they do a letter a week but every day it's um they do something about a so for example here they have a is for apples Make apple necklace to wear, apple name game, explore real apples and sort by color, do an apple tree counting finger play, read 10 apples on top and do an apple sticker activity and play with apple bean bags. And then the next day you do A is for alligator or A is for alphabet, A is for airplanes and A is for ants. So you can do it that way too. Good job. Um, so I have a lot of different things. I have a lot of different ideas. Plus these, I kind of want to incorporate something. Um, so I'm not quite sure exactly how we're going to play that out because one of the days I kind of want to do something with the letter A. Had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. Yay! So, um... So I'm still in the midst of, of planning. I did start writing down, like, activities that I want to do. So, um, let's see. Where is this thing? Um, for letter, they have another one. It was letteroftheweek.com, but I don't think it's still up anymore because when I went on one of these websites, it just didn't pull it up. Um... Let's see here. It gives you like some different ideas of what kind of books to read for the letter, some songs, snacks. Um, oh, I know. So for Apple's example, we're going to do that as one of our themes in September. It'll probably be close to, I want to see what weekends we have that are free. Because we're going to be going apple picking, obviously. One of my favorite things to do. So um, I kind of want to plan our theme around when we do that. So that he it goes hand in hand. But um, for example, um, I was thinking of doing, as part of an art project, is to get apples and make applesauce. And um, I think we might do it in the slow cooker. But, um, you know, it's, it's, it's easy to come up with an idea and then you've got to like sit and think about, okay, well, how do I want to have it play out? Um, so for example, right here, I started writing out, um, the theme apples and then I listed projects that I want to do some circle time ideas and some manipulative ideas. That's the moo cow. Old MacDonald had a farm. What do you say? E I E I E I O. And on his farm he had a cow. E I E I O. With a here and a there. Here a everywhere a. Old MacDonald had a farm. E I E I O. Okay, sorry for that. So, um, I for ideas that I have so far is to do like a stained glass apple where you take wax, you take a piece of paper and you make an outline of an apple and then you give them um, some tissue paper, whatever color you want, or you can mix it up and have like red, green, and yellow and um, have them glue it onto that. And then you can put the wax paper over it and then you... Um, uh, put glue on the wax paper to get it to stick or you can also use contact paper that's already you can buy at the dollar uh, the dollar tree 
And then you can punch a hole in the top and hang string and then hang it in a window. So there's that. There's apple painting, like I was just saying, where you cut an apple in half and then you let them dip it in the color and put it on the paper. Um, an apple collage where you can just use um, paper, cut up paper, have them rip paper and glue it. Um, a Q-tip apple tree, so you can um, pre-cut a uh, tree trunk or whatever, or you can paint your child's arm here brown and then put it on the paper. So that would be the tree trunk, and then you can put their hand and make that um, brown too. So you can just do it all at one time, and then you take a Q-tip, or they can use their finger and put it in like red or uh, green or whatever color you want and let them just put dots all over the branches so the fingers and branches and then i have make applesauce so i'm thinking that would be that's probably an easy thing i know it's kind of a weird theme but it uh it goes hand in hand with going to the apple orchard and then like in um, October, we can talk about the farm because this place that we go, um, we've taken him every year too. It's in Mechanicville, which is like you guys know because you don't live here in New York, but it's uh, probably about 30, 30 minutes to maybe 40 minute away uh, drive from here. And um, it's a farm and they have corn maze and they have pumpkin picking and they have farm animals where you can go in and feed them and it's a whole fun day full of stuff um it's a nice place to go and they usually have groupon deals to go there so um so that i would do that you know like a fall theme more for october ish because there's pumpkins. I could even wait to do September, to do um, the end of September, maybe into October and do like apples in fall. So, um, and then, you know, you there's tons of websites out there and tons of ideas on Pinterest. I have not even looked on Pinterest in a while, so. Um, but I here started to list some of the themes that I kind of want to do. Um, for example, I want to do the zoo or jungle, because he loves animals. Whoa. Zoo? Yeah. You went to the zoo, didn't you? Um, I want to do Halloween, transportation, winter, ocean, five senses, the farm. Pumpkins, um, community helpers, colors, Christmas, um, but I, you know, I remember when I taught, it was kind of like, okay, I came up with whatever themes I wanted, and we just did stuff, but as I'm reading a lot about, like, people doing homeschool, preschool, they say, you know, you don't have to do different themes like that, because it's not really, that's, more for like when they get a little bit older um it's not really something that they need to have right now but to focus on things that they're interested in so i don't really want to plan a whole bunch of stuff on stupid things that he has no interest in so um i have to still think about that that's another thing that i need to put into what i'm gonna do with him so um so it takes a little bit but I figure if I can get a month done at a time, that way it won't be as much work. So, um, what else are we going to do? Um, I, oh, so there's another thing that I found, and I don't remember what website this is. I don't remember. I think this is from I can't even read it it's so like I'm trying to I just took like a screenshot um, but for the letters there's this thing where you can create an alphabet book so um, oh maybe it's back here hold on a second people The 
use of this one plus one. Oh, from ABCs to SATs. That's what it is. Yes, bud. What's that? That's a chicken. So, um, so yeah, if you want to go check out this website, it is called from ABCs to ACTs.com. So what they do is they do a preschool alphabet book. They have it in a binder. So, um, what you have is like this. You would print this page out and they're all free printables. So what you do is, uh, here, I'll show you. We have letter D. So for their uppercase letter D project, they made um, a D duck. And um, so they cut out the letter D and then the kids can glue the stuff on. What? There's a moo cow. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? So um, on one side of the page, so over here, you would have their project. And then this page, you would have, oh, I'm showing you letter D. My goodness. Um, and then here you have to circle all the letter D's. So if this is in a, um, what is this thing called? Sheet protector. So what you would do is give them a, um, I am at a loss of words today. Um, a dry erase marker, have them circle all the D's. And then if they're able to start writing, have them trace these. And then just, you know, say yeah. diamond, d d d duck, and drink. And um, that way he'll have a project to go with each of those. So that might be one day during the week. We might just focus on one of the letters instead of the other theme. So I thought that was kind of a neat idea. I didn't print a bunch of them because I'm not sure if I want to go that route or if I want to do something different. But, um... I did like this. I thought this was pretty cool. So, what else do I have to show you? Um, one plus one, 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 and then you write out plus one plus one equals one dot com is another place that I went on to. And um, like here they have an apple and they have the letter A. So you take those dot markers that you can get at the Dollar Tree, the bingo markers, and have them bingo mark all of the letter A's. So that's why I put dot activity on there. And then um, this one, here's a letter A with an apple, and he can paint it or color. And then this one was to color the letter. And what else? What is this one? Oh, so these can go into, like, the sheet protector, and he can practice writing his letter. And then, um, this one is to practice writing, writing, um, a straight line, or he can, you know, cut. So, that's something else that we have to focus on. He's, um, ah, 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 apple. So, um, that's so far the start of, of what I've gotten. Um, there will be more to come, and once I have everything set for our first week, I will definitely share with you guys so you can see what I have come up with. And any of the different printables I can find, I will be able to send people links to them, or you can always Google them. Um, I can't wait to get on Pinterest just to look, but I already know that it's going to be so overwhelming because they have a lot of really neat stuff. What are you doing? You are a goof. Can you give mommy those letters down there? So I am going to turn the camera around so you guys can see here. Hold on one second. Uh oh. 
Okay. Where are we here? So let me flip this around so you guys can see what we have going on. I know this video is really, really long, but I got on a tangent here. Okay, so there is what my board looks like. So we have the months of the year over here. We have this calendar. I have to still put up the, um, the Velcro for the month for us to do. And then here's the days of the week. And then down here we have colors. And then down here on these hooks, we're going to hang the letter. We're going to hang the numbers. And then we're going to hang the shapes. And that's going to be kind of, um, I'm not sure how I'm going to put this board. I want it to be high up where he can't touch it because I did have the, um, uh, what do you call it? I had, um... A calendar on the wall and he had been pulling it off so I want it someplace that he can't touch it and break it because it was a lot of work that I did so I hope you guys enjoy this video I know it's long but I hope it's um, informative and if you have any questions please feel free to comment below or you can send me a message and I will be glad to answer any questions if you need any ideas um, I could always throw some ideas your way. So, thanks for watching, and come here. Can you say bye-bye? Bye-bye. Look here in the camera. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Can you blow a kiss? Bye. Thanks for watching.